What should ordinary people do during war? It all depends on what kind of war it is, who initiated it, who started it, where it takes place. The first thing you have to understand is that every war is a game of foreign interests. And if it doesn't happen on your land, it doesn't concern you. To go to war for an idea in a foreign land is to be cursed by that land for all eternity. Because that land did not call you and did not ask you to spill a sea of blood on its territory. But when war comes to your land, and you realize that your family tree, your children's future, everything you hold dear could be destroyed, you must do everything you can to protect yourself and your land. And in this case, regardless of the ideology behind the war, those who failed to defend their country from danger will receive a triple curse. We must remember that a warrior cannot stand aside if he or those he is responsible for are attacked or harmed in any way. And whoever he is, a man, a woman, an old man, a young man, he must take up arms and defend his land. An invasion of foreign territory is a violation of the law. Nature intended that each nation, each family, each race should live in its own territory. And nature did this for a reason. It is provided that if you live on your land, you have the right. Not the right to money or property, but the right to what is called prosperity, which means that you will have enough resources to live and develop. And only a land with which you have an agreement can provide you with enough resources. In a foreign land, you have no such agreement, so you always act at your own risk. Therefore, it is considered shameful to run away from one's own land in case of danger. This shame will remain a stain on you and your children. Any refugee will always be seen as a traitor to the land, a traitor to the Mother Earth who has fed and sustained him. And nothing here can be an excuse. You have betrayed the one who has been your protector all this time, the one who has fed you, the one who has nourished you, the one who has taken care of you. It should be said that small children and old people should leave the war zone, because they should never take part in other people's games. But that doesn't apply to everyone else. So if Mother Earth has protected you, be prepared to protect her for a while. And if you run away, it means you are a traitor and there is no forgiveness from the Earth for you. That is the way it is, and it cannot be otherwise, and that's what you have to remember. In case of danger, do not take a step off your land. Fight a guerrilla war for 20 years if you have to. Dig into the ground. Hold on to what you can. But don't leave your land. Otherwise, you won't get it back, which is what we're seeing now.